start my day off with journaling every morning and this is the corner on my desk where I have my candle and my inspirational quote thingy and this beautiful um, fountain pen holder and it just makes me very happy to sit here in the morning and start my day like this. I have just made my second cup of coffee and I'm going to knit now. I have my little holder thingy here and I will pop my phone on here and watch the Instagram lives that Jasmine from the Knit More Girls um, saved the other day after she had, you know, gone live and I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. So I'm going to watch that now and uh, yeah, I'm going to knit on my sock. They are a Christmas gift. Here is Tim's advent calendar that he chose and one that he got gifted. So they're still on the table. We need to find a good place for them. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what's going to happen now. Hi, it's time to show my face. I'm very out of breath because I'm very out of shape um, but I've gone out for a walk I have started going for daily walks about two weeks ago it's a 10 minute walk from my house to here if that and I'm just completely done <laughs> um, I have read in all of the anxiety research that I've been doing that physical exercise really helps but I'm so out of shape that a 10 minute walk, even after two weeks of daily walking, has me breathing and gasp gasping for air. That I'm actually really ashamed of that. You know, the, the state of my body and the unfitness of it. But I am doing it. You know, I'm going out, I'm gasping for air. <laughs> but I'm going to show you the view in a second and it's really worth it. It's really worth it, so worth it. So here's a bench, there, there it is. It's covered in snow, I'm gonna get rid of it and sit down, because I brought a small hand blanket and I brought my spindle and my tripod and I will just do a bit of spindling. I guess I don't even need to um, get the bench ready to sit down because I'm gonna spindle, so I have to stand. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. There's the wood. And it's just gorgeous. I'll flip around once. And yeah, I just, I had to get out and do my, you know, my walk. And just try to take care of myself. I just wanted to show you the setup and I think the weird things that people do to get good videos. So I have my tripod here. It's a very cheap one that I just got to try out this whole vlogging thing. And I had one leg is down there and the other two are here. And here's my stuff. I had to take off my jacket because it's really warm here in the sun. And I'm gonna pop the phone up there now and do a bit of spindling. If you've been watching the podcast, I had um, pondered whether I should add two more of my bumps onto the spindle or take it off. And as you can see, I decided to just add a bit more and keep going. So I'm gonna stand here for a bit and spindle because it's gorgeous.
I'm just gonna film for a bit and then shut the video off because I want to keep these vlogs or vlogmas very short, under 10 minutes. That's my ideal length for these. I just wanted to come on real quick and show you where I store my fiber. It's in my mitten because it's, you know, I can easily take more of it. It's out of the way, cannot get tangled, and the rest comes up, up over my hand. So it's always out of the way. And that is my little tip for today. Um, <laughs> when you drop a spindle in snow, it just disappears completely. Can you see? <laughs> I mean, I just dropped it mid boof, and it's gone. So, <laughs> um, oops, I guess I, I guess it's a sign that I should stop now. Oh well, I have been standing here now for about 40 minutes spinning and plying. I have finished spinning my little bumpy of fiber and it's time for me to head back home. But I just wanted to tell you how, how good this is for me. You know, I've been standing here listening to the sounds of the uh, the traffic behind me and the sounds of nature. I didn't bring an audiobook or a podcast or anything to listen to. I'm just standing here in silence, focusing on my hands and on the beautiful nature around me. And that I feel at peace now, you know, like this inner peace is back. And it's really good for me. I finally have a bit of a quiet moment and I'm going to open my advent calendar. So this is the first one. This is a fiber advent calendar from Steffi Svolle. She's a Austrian dyer. And then I have these from my husband. There are 25 in here, so it's the perfect thing. I have the Inkvent calendar from Diamine Inks. And I have this one here with little candles in it. It just arrived like half an hour ago. And you can see there's numbers and some little words on here. And I'm a bit angry because <laughs> the pictures, the writing on the candles was so clear, visible, bright. And in reality, you can barely see it. But I need to find a way to better take care of these because this is not it, you know. That's the only thing I like the way it is. But these will fall down when I look at them the wrong way. The calendars have been opened and uh, I already ate the chocolate <laughs> because I totally forgot to show it off. So here is my advent for today. The first thing that I opened is the Inkvent calendar and the color is called Seize the, da Seize the Night. And I'm not sure what color it is. I don't want to do a swatch now. I want to leave it um, closed for as long as I can. Um, the candle... It's very hard to see, but somewhere here it says Sternenfunkeln, which means the, the twinkling stars. And you can barely see it. And there's a one on it as well. And the fiber, I have a um, BFL blend. And it looks like this. So the fiber is one long gradient and every day it has a knot in it. And the knot is the end you will start spinning from. So this is my fiber for today. And I will spin it up later. I just have to select a spinning wheel and put it on there. 
And yeah, so that's my advents for today. And now I'm going to sit down and probably finish Tim's sweater. work on the sweater is done. I just crocheted this star out of this super weird golden yarn that I showed you on the podcast before. It just, when you look at it, it just falls apart. Can I, can I show this to you somewhere? Let me try. Where is the end? See, here is the end of my yarn and I can just, if you look at it, can you see it unravels? So that is the reason why I have decided not to embroider more stars all around. Because when you snack on this yarn, I just think it will ruin the whole thing. So this is what where we're at. And I have now finished all the pieces and I will now wash and block it. And I also think that this will probably be the end for today's Vlogmas. So I'll turn the camera around real, real quick and say goodbye to you. So this is my first day of Vlogmas. I um, It's getting a bit dark outside now and I will just enjoy the rest of the day um, playing with Tim and eating dinner and, and then I'll knit some more. But I will show you what I've been working on tonight, tomorrow morning when I start Vlogmas day two. So yeah, thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy these videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.